the strike is over and WGN is ready to take you back to the ballpark. Hi, I'm Milo Hamilton. Join us here on Channel 9 as the 1981 baseball season swings back into action. We'll bring you all the live coverage you've been waiting for. Be watching Monday afternoon, August 10th at 1.30, when the Cubs take on the Mets in the first of a four-game series. Later Tuesday night, August 11th at 6.30, the Sox are back in action against the Red Sox. Catch all the baseball action live here on WGN Television 9, Chicago, America's number one sports station. This is WGN Television Chicago, serving Channel 9 viewers 24 hours a day. What's up, everybody? It's John John Sports Talks coming into the brand new video. How's everyone doing today? Hey, it's Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. I had another one of those relaxing, chilled out weekends. Spent with my sons. Uh, no videos. We're kind of trying to stay away from those on the weekends so I can enjoy life <clears throat> in general. So um, we're back here on Monday. Mondays, we normally have been starting to do like rare products, oddball products, uh, uh, different sports, baseball, football. Um, anyway, we're, uh, we're gonna dive into this. This is a 1981 Super Cello Pack. They're a little bit rare. Um, a box of these goes for close to $2,000, um, which you can, you know, find here and there online. Um, I think there might be a couple of lists on eBay. Some of the collectible stores have them in our area too, but they're kind of rare as far as like, you know, uh, being accessible and they're very, very expensive. So this pack, I won this on eBay. This seller, uh, has uh, sold a couple of these packs. One was a 1981, which just went, just shot up like massively as far as the uh, the bidding went. It was too much, and I just passed on that. This one was a little more reasonable, and I want it. So inside here, we're gonna find 28 cards plus three pieces of bubble gum. You can see that down here. It's the original gum. You can see 10 cents there. That's really cool. Uh, the only thing that I'm wondering about this was that the back of this, we'll show you in a second. The back of this had like a scratch off game, which came in these. Um, in these packs and this doesn't show that so i'm one i'm hoping that they just weren't using some stock photo and they didn't repackage these. there's a couple other things that i wanted to point out too um it looks like it's sealed but the only thing i'm wondering is in the back there's no real like language on anything there's just this uh, right here and so this is uh okay so these the seller was also kind of not being truthful this is, looks like a peachy um it's, that's interesting. So these, these should have the Opeachy uh, insignia on the inside of the cards, which is kind of cool. I guess that's kind of cool. I have to check the value of these. But there was a scratch-off game here that, held, that went the whole way across. It is not here. There's this little, um, looks like a burn mark here. So I'm hoping they do not reseal these. Search and reseal. Uh, that would really stink. But let's get this open and see what we can pull out of here. See how it opens so easily, but again... There's some dust stuff here. I don't want to get that. Let's see what this is. If this is the game. No. So the photo, there you go. They, they had a game, like scratch off thing. Um, if I can pull the photo up, I'll include it in here at some some point. Um, so you can see what I'm talking about. But just got this here. So let's get these out of here. Here's the gum. It's definitely authentic. You can see that. Okay. What these cards look like hard to say look a little like worn so I'm, I'm hoping these weren't resealed if they were that was bogus these people so big cards in this year obviously harold baines uh rookie card uh tim raines rookie card on the future stars um three three player card and then nolan ryan's pretty valuable too uh as well and there are a few there's a host of other ones a pretty long list we've done vending boxes of this we have this whole set uh, these 81s, I'll have to break it out and show it to everybody. Um, but let's see what we can find here. So we started with a record breaker car with Ron LaFleur and uh, Mr. Scott. Um, stolen base leader, leader type car, record breakers. Most stolen base are teammates. Let's see if they have the Opeachy thing. They do not. So that's really, really weird. Why would I say Opeachy? See what I'm showing you guys here. In Canada, should we Opeachy? Maybe that's just on there. Maybe these are just actual tops. I don't know. It's kind of weird to see that language. I don't think I've ever seen that before in any of these kind of packages. If they weren't, they were, you know, they were an Opeachy pack. All right. Verhoeven and Twins. Gary Lavelle. The Detroit Tigers team card. Sparky Anderson manager. Pretty cool. 
Jesus Figueroa. Uh, NL champions Philadelphia's Phil Phillies squeak past Astros. Dave Tobik. Tom Seaver. It's nice. Put that back here. Hello, Mr. Seaver. Go this way. Start out here and move our way across. If we get anybody else good in here. Okay, Seattle Mariners team card. <clears throat> Maury Wills was the manager then. Randy Neiman, not the Astro we'd like. Benny Ayala. Try to Blue Jays team card. Bobby Matik. Was the manager then. Red Sox future stars, Bruce Hurst. Keith Mack Walter and Reed Nichols. Mark Lytle. Rick Ruschel. Terry Forster. Rick Langford at the back of these, by the way, I don't think I showed them to you. And this Kenta Cole we would just expose there. So you got player name, uh, position, vitals, stats, going back to their first year. I don't think minor league stats are on here. One little like blurb here. Um, and then some of them have a cartoon, some don't. You can see. Okay. It's Rick Langford. Decent pitcher for the A's back in the day. Kenta Colby Teak. The submarine delivery there. Barry Bunnell. Ron Say. Tug McGraw, Bob Welch, my third year card, fourth year card, Andre Dawson, that's a nice one, the Hawk, all right, get another Hall of Famer, it's pretty good, can't beat that, take that card, Russ Baumgartner, Al Williams, Joe Price, Joaquin Andahar, Johnny Oates, and we end with Dick Ruthven, so I'm guessing this is a legitimate pack, I can't see any like real weirdness going on here. Um, the cards seem to be okay, so yeah, I think this is good. This is a valid. I don't know why it says a peachy on the wrapper. Maybe somebody knows why it says that. Um, they could fill me in on it. So we didn't pull a Baines, we didn't pull a Reigns, we didn't pull a Ryan, but we did get a couple good cards out of this. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer, right there. The center looks to be pretty decent, left to right, top to bottom. It's a little bit off. Back of the card looks actually pretty good. So. You know, just a little bit off top to bottom there as well. But still a nice card. The Hawk. And then we also got Tom Seaver. Uh, Sarah, this looks to be the same kind of thing. Top to bottom a little bit off. Back. Left to right a little off. So, not that we'd send in the PSA, but we'll add this to our collection. Like I said, with this whole set, we'll to show everybody that set at some point in the next month. We've got lots of sets that I want to share um, that we're going to be, you know, there are binders that we're going to be busting out and uh, showing you. Uh, in the coming months. Okay, so that's it for today, folks. Hey, lots of videos coming up. Lots of cool stuff. Nice throwback Thursday video. Diving in some older football product as well. And uh, this wasn't too bad. I, I would say this wasn't too bad. Um, this 1981 Super Cello Pack that we won on eBay. Could have bought this back in the day for 59 whopping cents. Boy, if I only had a time machine, I'd jump back in and i go to all the different years and pick up all this stuff for nothing. Anyway, well, that's not real, but I just thought it would be a funny thing to add in here. Okay, so, hey, if you're not a subscriber, like you see here, hit that subscribe button right below the finger, uh, finger there. The uh, notification bell is on there as well. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me just think of this uh, Super Cello Pack from 1981 Tops. And share this with your friends, family, and loved ones. eBay store link is down below in the description. That's it for today, folks. Short video. Got more on the way, though. So stick around for the, those coming up this week. And that's it for today, guys. This is John John Sports Guy signing off. We'll see y'all soon. Welcome to Club Atari. What's your pleasure? Break out? Ah, here's something new Circus Atari. Cartridges, video chess, football. Cartridge, sir. Fez is here. <laughs> We meet again, Fez. Yes, a little game of space invaders, perhaps. What shall we play for? For fun, of course. <laughs> no other company offers you as many different video game cartridges as Atari.